All right, it's James from Fitness Basics. The dead bug is the second movement in my must-do core exercise list. It's going to target the rectus abdominis and transverse abdominis. Okay, so it's going to help stabilize and support our back against the ground as we move our limbs to target the front of our core and midsection. The dead bug trains our bodies to resist anterior pelvic tilt, so we're consciously bracing our stomach to support our spine against the ground as we do this exercise. It's also very low impact. There's no strain on the neck, shoulders or elbows as opposed to like a plank or a crunch. And it also trains abdominal strength. Bit of stability, mainly strength. So I'm gonna take you through this exercise, show you how to perform it properly and how often I'd advise training the dead bug. Let's get into it. The dead bug primarily is gonna target your lower abdominal section and develop muscle in that area because most of the stress of movement comes from the bottom upwards so as you can see my legs extended there and the weight comes back upwards to return to the start position to start the dead bug you want to lie on your back knees bent and seal that gap between your lower back and the ground by bracing your stomach towards your spine arms across your chest and then create that 90 degree angle from your hip up to your knee across to your ankle and then point the toes up from here, just work on extending one leg out and down, but not touching the floor. Now you want to check you've still got that back secure against the ground. So keep the stomach braced. And then you want to return the weight stress of your leg back up to that 90 degree angle. From here, extend both arms up and then you can slowly lower your opposing arm and leg down to the ground, but not touching it just so that you create that tension still and you've got your spine supported against the ground and then slowly raise back up. To advance the movement, you can use some weighted resistance. It's good on the upper body to stretch as you reach back, but it would be preferably better on the lower body of the weight so that you're having more tension in your lower abs. Now, you can also progress the exercise by slowly controlling your weight down. A five second hold with your leg extended at the bottom is really gonna make your lower abdominals tremble, so that's another way to advance the move. And finally, extending both your limbs out at the same time is going to create some extra weight stress because you're managing the weight of both your legs. Just make sure that that lower back is supported against the ground. I'm now going to take Liz through the dead bug starting setup. I'm going to give her a cue to help keep the lower back supported against the floor with use of a resistance band. 90 degree angle and then just point your toes up. Yep, there we go. So we need to engage our core, brace our stomach pretty much towards our spine just to seal our back against the floor. Not to press too hard into the floor but to definitely press into the ground so that there's no slack and I'm not able to move the band out from under Liz's stomach. 90 degree angle, so just raise your shins. Great, okay. So tense the midsection in towards the spine and the floor so that you've got no slack when you pull a band underneath the back. If you extend that leg, extend it down forward, you're still keeping tension in the midsection there, you can bring that knee back up. Okay, now if you bring it down again slowly, okay, if you start to lose contact with the ground when you bring your leg down, first just remind yourself to brace your midsection and close that seal so that you couldn't pull a band from your back if, that's, if you're still coming up off of the floor with your back, only work down to the range of motion that you can manage while still keeping your back flat with the floor. How often do I advise training the dead bug? It will depend on the individual's fitness levels and their tolerance to abdominal training. For beginners, extend your opposing arm and leg down towards the ground, hold it above the ground for around three seconds and slowly return back up. Then do the exact same on your opposing leg and arm. That will total one full repetition. Aim for six to 12 repetitions where you're still holding at the bottom briefly. Rest and repeat that two to three times. One of the surface up strength exercises. Give it a go.